Good morning. I am so dazed, so tired from yesterday. But we are on the next tour, which is the Pena Palace. And we just saw up there that it's quite high. You can actually walk your way up there, but there's also a bus. So it's either of the two, but today we're gonna take the bus. They always say that the early bird gets the worm, but the early bird also is so dazed. Go to the line, leave a ticket right there. All right, I see like roses there in the back. It's kind of like a, a prediction of things to come of how romantic this is. Okay, so uh, King Charles, he was like the very first or very last king of Portugal at that time. Um, naked ladies were like the trend for paintings, so he actually painted those. As to whether he was really talented, of course everybody agreed, but you judge. Can you believe that little toot, that little seat that looks like a cup right there? That was actually the bathtub of the queen. Wow, I wonder if she was actually having a bath or she was just sitting there. Okay, so inside the palace, this room right now, it's uh, the Chamberlain's room. He's basically, I would like to say like a yaya or the nanny of the king and Charles, he super loved eating. That was his jam. And so he would always say, hey, he would ring the bell to make sure that, you know, whenever he's hungry, he needs anything. So his room, the Chamberlain's room was always close to Charles. So whatever he wanted, whether it be a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, he was there. Okay, that room that we just came from, that was like a 3D effect room. It was super, super cool. Where you can really only see like the 3D effect of the, of the paint, of the pillars, of the grapes, of the shield when it's on video. On photo, it's kind of hard to see. Just like me right now, I can barely see the camera. But yeah, super, super cool. So if you notice, like every room had a different theme, had something to brag about, a different mood, different color. Okay, all you vegetarians, vegans out there, here's one great trivia for you. Okay, so you see here around the room are supposedly the heads of animals. But King Ferdinand was actually very against killing of animals for pleasure. So what he would do, he would fake it to make it. So he would actually have all these wood carvings and hung up here. And then there's even like one deer, it looks like he's crying. And then so he's telling the people, like he's like, oh, you know, when I shot him, like he was crying, he was in fear. And of course, everyone's like, oh, you're such an amazing hunter. But he is such an amazing guy. So that over there is a royal safe, <laughs> safe card, card, all your documents, and then those two paintings, that was King Charles and his wife, I forgot the name, pardon. So apparently every royal family has to have their own Chinese study or Chinese table, where there's like different secret compartments, and they're so intricate. And of course, because this was a former monastery, you would expect that there would be a sacristy. That's why you just saw like the stuff you see in church for the mass, for the chalice, for the choo-choo, and the whatever. And that was a chapel as well. 
Okay, so the last room here is the kitchen. So you know, fancy, fancy, yeah, they are there. It's so big. But what's what uh, interesting is there are cookie molds here, or like cake molds. There's like one of a dog. There's one of a fly. There's one of a pear and shells. And usually they say whatever the mold was, that means that's what you were eating. So who knows? Were they eating dog? Were they eating flies? So there's like a little bit cute. <laughs> It's like that red one I showed you guys in the video, and now I'm showing the other side. <laughs> Everyone wants that Instagram shot, but I just want to see over the edge. So over there in the distance, so the reason why people come here is so you could see like that Moorish castle over there. It actually really does look like a fairy tale. That's why they consider it like a super romantic, romantic castle and park, palace and park. Colors, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So what colors you see here are not something that they eventually renovated to. They have to retain the same colors, the same quality, the same structure, especially the exterior. Amazing. And we're walking down oh, the garden garden with the So you really have different options. You wanna take the bus up, you wanna hike up, or you kind of wanna do both ways. It's really up to you. I'm considering hiking down just to experience at least one way. Yeah. So this baby bridge over here is the Bridge of Love. So just imagine like King Ferdinand and Queen Maria, they were super in love, like legit in love. They have 11 children in love. So they were standing here watching over their kids, like biking, learning how to bike, learning how to ride the horse, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, why is it called the Bridge of Love? So you know, like in a bridge, so you're here, you're like, they're like making out and then kind of like the urges intensify and then at the back right there um it's called like the love nest the love nest aka the shag pad <laughs> so whenever those would have curtains then people know that something was up. i mean no pun intended wow guys taking in a lot of information okay so you see we've been walking like this forest out here now in 1836 i think that was the year 1837 this was called the naked forest or the naked hill i think yeah the naked hill naked because no not because they were shagging right there but it was because it was completely barren okay now first of all Ferdinand the second he was just uh, well, what I'm learning from him he was pretty amazing guy especially when it came to nature so I guess he was like the head of the beautification committee because what he did was since he had all the access all the power all the money in the world so what he did he bought like 125,000 trees like baby trees and then from 181 countries and then so his I don't know his people were saying he's like yo dude <laughs> like a California sequoia or a Siberian something is not gonna survive in this climate it's going to die and then he was like you know what it doesn't matter what you do is I just want you to plant all those trees those flowers those shrubs plant them anywhere in no particular order and if they die just let it because now this is back to me yeah it is true that nature always does really find a way that nature will find a way to reuse to recycle though he truly believed in that isn't that amazing So the most famous street in Sintra is that very narrow alley right there. So it's a really small town and Pena Palace is basically situated in Sintra. So it's really cute. There's all these little alleys with small restaurants and specialty shops. Very quaint, very quaint town. You don't need a lot of time to actually go around. I just found out that this church over here, St. Martin de Sintra, uh, 
is a favorite one, is the most favorite one of Hollywood actor Johnny Depp. And why? Well, he's actually been caught uh, praying here like several times, like more than 12 times. So I'm guessing he's Catholic or whatever it is. The point is he, he actually likes coming to this church. Now Sintra, Sintra is also one of his favorite towns, if not his favorite. He actually loves coming to Portugal. In fact, um, there are trees, there's like a, um, a road of trees that's going up and like zigzag up to the Pena Palace and apparently um, uh, several movies have been shot along those trees because of how the willows and the shadows and whatnot. So interesting. So you may not be into religion, but if you're into Johnny Depp, come into this church. <laughs>